<sighs> Man, it is very uncomfortable in its hotness outside. I uh, decided rather than walk around outside like an idiot flailing my arms around trying to prevent horse flies from attacking me. Let's do a little geocaching re recording instead of waiting till after work. Do it on my lunch break. And here we are. Geoguessing. Let's begin. Diverse world. Hello, fisheye lens and potentially uh, um, Australia. Anyway, how it... <clears throat> man. I'm uh, falling apart, apparently, the instant this video started. Um, how we doing? You got a lot of bugs in your windshield. I want to see what that actually looks like on the front of your car. Adverts. Spend and save, probably. I'm going to say this is Australia. Maybe uh, the back of this fan might help me a bit. Seven something. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's go with... Uh, it's not going to matter what side of Australia I pick. It's going to be far off regardless because Murphy's Law um, works that way. So I'm just going to click forward as much as I can to try to at least get a sign that I can actually read and decipher. As I say, hey, how's it going? Thank you all for watching and taking time out of your busy days to watch this man continuously do GeoGuessr and then recently upload weird videos of crow noises to songs. Granted, the last two, the two that I put up, it's kind of cheating because... Uh, I don't know the exact history. Is that a Hillel? I think it is. I don't know the exact history behind the bands, uh, Clash and Big Audio Dynamite, but I believe that the lead singer of Clash left and started a different band called Big Audio Dynamite. And <clears throat> he took that one little sound clip that was used in Should I Stay or Should I Go Now in the other song. Um, the Globe, I believe it is. So it's kind of cheating and doing the same song twice, but apparently I can't move forward anymore. Thank you. But <clears throat> I don't know. Today's the first day that I actually haven't had the uh, crow screaming outside my apartment and called Stockholm Syndrome, but I kind of miss him. Um, but I think I have enough recordings from my phone to actually flood away. Yeah, I feel this is Australia. Ooh, maybe this will tell me. A photo op, 500 meters on the right. Okay. That's got to be close. That's half a mile, half a kilom kilometer. Well, I get, I'm going to get there in 129 seconds. So, it's probably going to say floodplain again. And what actually was the photo op? Did I, did I miss it? Is that going to say? No, it doesn't. Okay, it probably just says buckle up. Belt up course how lovingly british or australian british colony of it instead of saying the teamster memorial hmm so here is my thought process i know that there's a lot of mines in australia i know that a lot of central <clears throat> australia has a lot of at least test holes that they would drill into the ground and they're unmarked and I forget how far they go down and how big they actually are, but it's pretty possible you, for you to fall into them and uh, end up dying. I don't know why that makes me think I've actually solved it and I know exactly where this is, but I feel a little bit more confident in putting it square in the middle. That way, regardless of where I am, I'm going to get the about the equal point difference regardless of where I put it. So, anyway, how's it going? That was a tangent, just a stream of consciousness. Um, other things, let me, there's something on my screen. I got to wash this screen. I'm screen, I mean my TV screen. That's probably just, oh, wow, I got very much closer than I thought. Um, next to tea tree, huh? Well, it actually say a central Mount Stewart historical reserve. So I'm feeling pretty good about what I guess there. Hmm. I have... Ooh, oh, this is nice. So I feel that this could be Iceland. 
Norway or potentially like uh um what is it uh Argentina or Chile but this is beautiful look at this uh we're not moving as fast as whoa we just went into the earth there I don't know if I'm going to be able to go farther than this. I think I'm actually going to try going the other way because that way I was being a dick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That sign there is going to be... How far back do we go? Yeah, that's go tour, whatever. That, that's good old Iceland. Where? Could be there. This also could be that giant ass glacier, which is on this side of the uh, <clears throat> the island. This is beautiful, though. I'm just sitting on this beach and look, man. I and I really got to get back to that country. Beautiful things like this. I'm very much okay with probably being in the minority as to loving this country and wanting to go back to it like other people have other countries and locations they love traveling to. And you got some oh sheep. I almost thought those were wild ponies, but no, they're just wild sheep. Alright, here we go. This is Cuckoo Campers, huh? Is this a tour group or, or something? Renault. No, maybe they're just a band. Or it's an actual campground thing. Either way, Fucking, this place is beautiful. I'm going to say we're over here. Maybe around, around there. Actually, Horn of Fyodor, might, this might actually, this might actually be around where it is. I'm, I'm probably completely off, but what else is new? Um, anyway, other things are going to be coming up on the channel this week. Uh, when I actually put them up, maybe I'll put them up on, uh, ooh, okay, we got some more signage. Maybe I can see what it says. Not at that very obscure angle. Back to. Bell Coleman. Okay, we're 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 getting into a town or a uh province of sorts. And we're in your half fjarths Haval Fjarths are bite. Fall fight. Fast. Oh God, my tongue. That is very hard to say, you Icelandics. Your language is very difficult for the uncultured tongue to try to say it. But anyway, yeah, videos. Um, I don't care. We're. I shouldn't say that. I should say if you do seem have any interest in uh, Magic: The Gathering, as I've. Why? Why can't I go? Thank you go any farther um <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to be putting up a couple of decks that i've actually put together and i don't know more now that i've actually like put together my own granted to for for a while because i have no idea like the vast majority of the cards in the game that i just felt like making following decks that are online to be like okay i'm going to use these as kind of like a a guide building blocks man this place is so beautiful um, until I got my own footing and to be like, okay, I want to try doing something like this. And I've taken it around with like two or three other ones and, uh, I feel like making something with it. Okay. So we very, um, did I actually go here? I did not. I don't think we were, no, we really didn't go that far North <laughs> again. We kind of went like, eh, this section, so much more of this place. I want to go see. This feels tropical. Am I going to figure out where this is? Is this Hawaii? Let's see here. Well, the license plates could very well be a Hawaiian because they're not long, single rectangles. Yeah, it says eating area reserved for taro patch customers. Taro is a root that they eat in Hawaii. Um, I'm gonna, they make poi, P-O-I out of it. I might be mistaking it with something else, but it might be purple. 
I could be wrong with that, though. Uh, I don't think I've actually... I might have had taro root before. Very starchy. But, again, I could be completely forgetting. Misremembering, I mean. All right. Mm. Where is this? Very tall. Eroded limestone mountains in the back there. I'm going... Back to see this sign. Oh, stop eating animals. Well, I would have preferred if my um, street signage weren't so political and just gave me their the directions I needed. I would be very appreciated. Thank you. <clears throat> I should probably should have coughed a little farther away from the mic than what I did there. I'm seeing if any why. Monolo Elementary School. Is this Y Mono? Y Monolo? Let's see if that like pops up here in any of these uh, islands. Makina Waipahu. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. Let's just take a quick look on the island here. Waipahu. I just said it again. Why can't I remember things? Why Monolo? Look at that. All right, so now I gotta find the school. Elementary and intermediate school, holy shit. We're gonna click here, I'm gonna hit home. I'm gonna find out exactly where the end of one of these streets. All right, so now we're gonna come out to this intersection here. Take a look at this. Kuihana, Kuihimana, excuse me, and Kamana Aima. Hmm. Is it this? No. Let's. I'm gonna get a little closer to actually get a better. Okay, Kuhimana. Now, of course, my phone is ringing right now. I'm gonna have to wait to pick that up later. Kuhi Mana Aina. Kuhimana and Kamana. Man, these are these are very hard words to say. Are we are we over here? I feel like I'm on the right the right the right road here. Am I am I off? Cause that is completely not it. We like here, like this. Um, is there another intersection road? And it's a very much a dead end here. And that is a short little, little turn. Okay, that's just a dead end. That is not roads. Okay, let's come back out here and try to find. Oh, I'm out of time. Did I nail it? Oh, I was on the exact wrong side of the street. If I zoomed in just a smidge more, I would have found that. <clears throat> Oh well. I did pretty well, I'd have to say, for that one. This one, oh, my voicemail, okay. Man, this is the most my phone's rung. Probably since I've owned it. My phone does not use, is not very much used ever for, uh, okay, we're not in the US. Experience the magic of bowing up. Hmm. Is this Straya again? Let's see this sign here. Balling up. Ah, that the sun's the th the the sun, not the thun. Okay, we've got Bridgetown and Manjump on the one. Is that this? Um, <clears throat> the one is this here, Munglin up. I got Manji. I'm so close, but those are not it. Bridgetown and whatever that other one's called. I don't know if these are going to be big enough. Okay, Manji Nump is 62. Bridgetown's 26. So bowing up. Jeez, look at me. Look at me and my ability to find out where we are. 
this doesn't happen often, so... Uh, okay, we're going over a turn. So this could... No, we're getting... We're very close to bowing up. But we're not in there yet. Let's find out the first row to come across. All right, we have not come across a bisecting road. This truck in the way may have stopped me from seeing any. What's this? What's this say? Is this a rest area? Oh, reduce speed now. Is that a threat? We got old bakery tea rooms. I'm not seeing uh, old bakery tea rooms anywhere. I thought they said bowing up intercourse. <laughs> Uh, I'm a child. Okay, we do have a quite a turn. Hmm. No, we're 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 not there yet. We're on the one though. We're very much on the one. Okay, we do have an intersection here. Southampton and Homestead are that way. Golden Valley Tree Park. Green bushes. So green bushes is. Green bushes is here, is it? Yeah, green bushes is there. Were we man manji mup? Or is that again? Okay, manji up is this way behind us. So green bushes is right there. So maybe we're actually. Yeah, we were. We're not there yet. Am I? Am I dumb? I mean, yes, but yeah, we had we we left the town. Yeah, we're we weren't in the town anymore. We were heading backwards, backwards into bowing up. And then we drove through bowing up. I'm going to I'm going to stick with where I was to see if I was right. Nope. My orientation is awful. So be it. All right, this one job match. This feels Europe. I'm really I'm really going on a limb here saying this is Europe. I know. This is Belgium. Will I find exactly where in Belgium? I don't know. Let's see if uh any of these will say. Sorry, I'm taking a drink of my caffeinated water. This new stuff I found in the grocery store. This is what passes for excitement in my life. Um, I just happened to look down on the bottom of one of the water aisles and it seemed like they were on sale for this random beverage I had never tried before. And it's got like nothing in it. Caffeine. Zero calories, less than one total carbs. What the hell is it called? Um, Franny's. Sparkling Love. Very vanilla cream. And it's basically cream soda. If that's a thing. Where you're from, I don't know. It's 100% artificial. <laughs> it, it's very much just this. Nothing about this tastes like something that came from a tree or a plant somewhere. No, this was this was created in a lab for a cream soda and this this is such a such a name for a road system that I'm just glazing over looking at this. RNs and how far I got to get in to see RNs. I don't I I'm never Waver and Novellus are those actual play. I'm going to click before I forget. But I've drinking and drank I have consumed enough of it now that I've kind of like grown to like the taste. All right, so you got Mont Mount Saint Guibert. If it's a mountain, that makes me think we're down here. Doesn't mean it's right, but for some reason I feel the mountains are down here. If this was based off uh geography <clears throat> locations, naming your, being your naming convention for your towns. That means probably absolutely nothing, but it feels like there's a highway over here. And there is. Perfect. 
now. Here's what I'm looking for. Okay, Nivelles. Nivelles. Will I find Nivelles anywhere? I gotta probably zoom in a bit. I feel like it's down here, but that means nothing. Just because of that mount thing. It doesn't say what highway we're on, so that that that's what is this? Are these like incorporated sections of Belgium outside of Belgium's territory. Interesting. I'm gonna look for a road sign, like what highway we're on here. Let's stay on. Okay, what Walibi? N two thirty eight. That doesn't help me. I need to find. Excuse me. The uh, entrance ramp for whatever this is, so I can find out. Whoa, this is a crisscrossing. Get over here a little farther and then turn around. Okay, I see a sign here. I've got thirty seconds. Here we go. The E four one one. That's probably what we're crossing under. I see the three three eleven four one one. Nemour and Bruzels. Okay. So was it here? No, no, we were we were we weren't that far off. Mont Saint Guibert. Guibert. Not bad. Oh, that's a pretty good round, I think, at least for me. Let me stretch. Anna Ben. Uh, looks like the farthest guess I had away was actually Iceland of all places. But that's going to do it for a... Felt like a very quick episode for this Wednesday. Thank you all for watching again. I appreciate taking time out of your day to watch this stuff. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions for themes, maps, ideas, games, or other things at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. It's really annoying whatever they've done to YouTube that I don't get notifications when comments come in. So I'm getting better in the habit of actually manually checking to see if anything has been typed in there for comments. But anyway, don't let that discourage you from hearing whatever I have to say in response. I know it's very important. Um, yeah, look for some other stuff on the channel as well. It'll be probably coming up on, well, today. I'll either put it up tonight or I'll put it on Thursday. I don't know. Just keep an eye out. And uh, we'll see you again at least, if not whenever the other stuff gets put out on Friday for some more geoguessing. So uh, have a good day and the rest of your week, and we'll come back. And something that rhymes with week. Can't think of it right now. Goodbye.